So each of us came to the class with an idea. Uh, some people came actually with wax models started or, or nearly completed. Others just uh, with an idea, some drawings, some photos. And uh, Teresa helped us work those ideas uh, through the process of, of making the, the uh, wax model. <laughs> We put eight different coats of slurry on over the course of a day and a half or two days. Are in too much of a hurry, and there's a little bit of yellow still here and there, but you're going to dip it anyway. If you keep doing that at about dip four or five, your whole mold will fall oh. off your piece. Yes, okay. We're going to want to put a cinder block underneath there, right? So we got that piece. A part of the uh, mold making process and uh, fixing the furnace to melt the bronze, uh, burning out the wax, and, and just every every step of it we got to be a part of. Your your styrofoam, yep. all the way around, okay. and then you can kind of see how thick your your shell is too. They turn. They turn. Vitrified, so that means they just turn to glass. With what color do they turn? White. White. Oh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 15, 20 minutes, yeah. Um. Oh. I'm going around now. Gotcha. Ceramic is very hard Sad. and very heat resistant. Every bit of it is is an yep. art that takes a lot of the last one, a, a lot of experience, and Teresa does a really nice job of of sharing that experience so that our pieces could Good. turn out. Okay. okay. Oh. oh. Is the bottom of it? What do you think, Joe? <laughs> she reemerged. This class was just so exciting because we could take a piece from an idea and a concept and a ball of wax all the way through to a finished bronze sculpture with all the steps in between. You couldn't ask for a, a nicer setting than uh, Door County, Fish Creek, and the, the Peninsula School of Art to, to be creative and, and uh, have a really enjoyable week.